St. John dropped a new project, uh, AKA Ghetto Lenny. Some of you guys may know him as that. Some of you guys may know him as Rose's Iman Beck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he dropped a new album called While the World Was Burning. Man, what a title. I have a lot to say about this, but I want to hear your thoughts first, man. What'd you think about the album? Thoughts? Thoughts. What'd you, th what'd you think about the album? What? I didn't even say thoughts. I said think. Why are you throwing you that said, in? I see, where, you I see where your mind is at. No, you said thoughts. You said thought. Oh, but, okay. I did. Um, it's funny. Me and you are like St. John stands. I think more so you than me. I don't, I, I'm not as vocal about how good I think St. John is, but I've always felt like St. John is the truth. Uh, St. John, his last album, I think it's nothing less than a B plus. And I think personally, this album is nothing less than a B plus. Personally, probably a B plus, but nothing less than a B plus. Um, St. John to me is somebody that you can tell wants to be great. Now, everybody wants to be great, right? Like everybody wants to be the next MJ. Everybody wants to be the next whatever, whoever the greatest president of all time is. Uh, everybody wants to be great. But are you putting in the work to be great? Are you doing certain things that make you great? Out of all the people that I hear in music today, St. John is one of the few people that I think actually does things in his music that are great. Like, if you listen to his new album, While the World Was Burning, which is a dope ass title, um, he doesn't only create melodies that are catchy, that are infectious, he goes overboard with the infectiousness of his melodies. He doesn't just talk about stuff that your average trap rapper talks about. He goes overboard with how he talks about it. And then also the way he sings. He doesn't sing like your average rapper that knows how to sing or a singer that knows how to sing. He sounds godly. Like he gives the a uh, uh, great experience to the listeners like he gives you an experience that's out of this worldly and throughout this album that's what i just heard i heard it. now i understand you guys um there was nothing out of this worldly about monica Lewinsky. what the hell like the baby is just rapping on there a buggy with the hoodie is just rapping on there how he packaged that song how he he hit us with a hook that is unbelievably catchy is next level. How he's able to just continuously hit you with next level songs on an album. Like you all, you, you constantly say to yourself, how is he gonna top this next song? Then he tops it. Like to me, St. John, and he's great, but I, I, I do know people are not appreciating him the way that he should be appreciated. Like I, even though I thought it was weird. I thought it was very weird. His first album came out and do you know what I felt like I was doing? I'm looking around the room like this, like, yo, y'all ain't hearing this. Y'all ain't hearing this. I'm looking on social media. Y'all ain't hearing what I just heard. I heard like one of the greatest albums I've just heard in my damn life. Are y'all hearing this? So when the first album went by, I was like, okay, cool. Like, maybe something's wrong with me. Maybe my standards are very low and I hear this guy's album and something's wrong with my ears. Let's see what he does next. He, he drops roses. People love roses. I'm like, oh, for sure. People are going to love this album. For sure. They love roses. He's now somebody that's real popular because of roses. They're going to soak this album up. I found myself doing the same thing again. I'm, I'm looking around like, yo, where's the buzz? I understand Megan Thee Stallion just came out, cool. I understand The Recession just came out, cool. You guys go listen to those other albums and come back to St. John 
and realize how great it is. It's not there. This is troubling to me. And that's what I'm going to tell you right now, not you, but the world. Please appreciate St. John because what he is doing is on the level. Remember, I gave you, I gave Lil Uzi Vert credit. I said Lil Uzi Vert. Somebody else said the same thing about Lil Uzi Vert takes what everybody else is doing and takes it to another level. St. John is doing the same exact thing. But his level of appreciation compared to Lil Uzi Vert's level of appreciation is not even close. Please, let's appreciate St. John. Please. That's all I got to say. Look, man. Uh, good take. You know, I'm, I'm going to pick up right where you just left off because I will agree with you as well. It is troubling to me how undercovered St. John is. And look, I'll be real. I'm sitting back waiting. I've been sitting back waiting for about a year now since he dropped Ghetto Lenny, Ghetto Lenny's Love Songs, which by the way, that album is incredible. Um, clearly it was so incredible that he decided to remix three songs from that project and put it on this new one, right? But you know, listen, if you're somebody who just found out about St. John, go back and listen to the other ones. Like, I can actually make a legitimate argument that if you fuck with High School Reunion, comma, prom, featuring Lil Uzi Vert, you will be blown away by the original. That was one of my favorite joints from the last project. Uh, and so he remixed that one. He also remixed Monica Lewinsky, threw on the baby A Boogie. That was another one that was also one of my favorite ones from the last project. Had no one on, well, sorry, had A Boogie on it, but he had a different verse. Incredible verse A Boogie put up. Uh, there was another one, Roses. You talked about it. Like, I was prepared to come in here today and put on my St. John cape because, by the way, yeah, I might be a bigger fan of St. John than you. I actually went to Montreal to see him live in concert. Like, I have never been to Montreal, period. And I said to myself, fam, I gotta go to a Mon I gotta go to a St. John concert. I looked at his tour. Damn, he just missed DC. Where's his next one around my birthday? Hmm. Arizona. Nah, I don't feel like going to Arizona. Hmm. Montreal. Hmm. Montreal. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to Montreal. Like, I don't go anywhere to go chase any dude down. And I'm telling you right now. I was prepared to come in here and really like put on a cape for St. John, but I just feel like I have faith in you guys, you guys, that you guys will snap out of your senses and just understand that this dude's music is so next level that you will be regretting that you didn't see it earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's crazy to me. Um, I don't know about you, Q, but I'm one of the people that like, you know, when, and it sounds like you are, but like when, when I really like something, I'll go searching around. I want to see what everybody else is talking about, right? Like, I want to see what the what people on Twitter are talking about. I want to see what the YouTube comments under his videos talking about. I want to go look at reaction videos. I want to go see, like, yo, are people even talking about this album? What are they saying? And it was alarming to me that this man's music is not even being acknowledged. And I'm like, huh? Ooh. So, so it begs a different a different question to me. Because if you and I are both saying, yo, this music is so next level, why is it that he's not being covered? Or is it still too early for St. John? Would you say that? Or do you think it's something bigger? Like, in other words, could it be the, the Christian approach, the, 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 the seemingly blasphemous images that, that he seems to be presenting with his not occult, you know, the cross, I don't think that has anything to do with it, but I've seen people say that. Like, what, what do you think that is the reason why he has not ascended to the level in which you and I feel like he actually should be at? I think, I will say this. I think St. John's not relatable. He's not a relatable person at all, at all. Even content-wise, I, I love St. John. I, I enjoy listening to, to his music. I can't relate to a single thing he says in the music. 
<laughs> but we watch Star Wars, right? We can't yeah, that's real. Star Wars and people love Star Wars. We we watch all these science fiction stuff and we love it. But I think hip hop has now become a relating game. Like if you can relate to that artist, their look, whatever, then you get more love. He is, I repeat, when it comes to his look, when it comes to how he moves, he moves weird too. When it comes to the the melodies, everything he does is like not relatable. Like it's, I don't it's, think it's, it's unorthodox. I, it's unorthodox. I be, I, honestly, yeah. I, I love Saint John, but I don't think I would want to be his friend just the way he he moves. Like <laughs> I don't think like we can just get a drink at the bar. Like to me, he just seems like. He almost seems like Batman. <laughs> mm. He seems like a hip hop Batman where he just has this darkness to him, this like anti-social. That's crazy you say that. He, awkward. He's, like a, he's like he's like a character almost, isn't he? He's like a character. He's like a character, a dark character. <laughs> now, and now, I, now that's what the problem is, honestly. Now now that's funny you say that because I, I as you as you're saying that I'm thinking of other people who I believe are characters that people really love. To me, Travis Scott. Travis Scott is a character, not in a not in a like extreme way. I just mean his whole presentation, like the way he moves, his mm-hmm. videos, his presentation. You know, it was fitting to me that he put out that um that album called Rodeo, where he was standing on top of the the monster truck and he mm-hmm. was like an action figure. That is like a perfect depiction of who I believe or how I believe people view Travis Scott. They look at him like he's an action hero, like he's an action oh, yeah. character. And oh, that's yeah. a that's an interesting observation. I, I never thought about that. St. Okay. John is that type as well. But, you but see, it's interesting to me how, how, how Travis Scott is heavily revered and heavily loved. And then you got somebody that's dark and and who is and is not walks the and, walks and, the line of and blasphemy and, with and is not loved. He's not loved. No, I mean, here's another thing too. <laughs> Hip hop is always about cosigns, right? Travis yeah, Scott yeah. was co-signed by Kanye. Travis Scott was working with T.I. Travis Scott was well known in the hip hop industry. His come up was like through affiliations with Quavo, affiliations with whole rack of people. St. John's affiliated to nobody. St. John is just a dude that just does his own thing. He doesn't continuously work with the same people. Like he just moves very, very weird. And I think that (laughs) people, because you know what, what happens is Travis Scott gets popular because people are like, man, I've been vouching for Travis Scott. I like the dude. I don't think you can say the same thing about St. John. When he gets popular, you're just kind of like, oh, there goes that guy that's getting popular now. That's it. Like, you don't, don't know, man. You don't feel like, I don't think people feel happy for him. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. There's something, there's something it's missing. Weird. It's very there's weird. So, there, there's something missing. However, again, if we judge in the music, um, I'm here to, to, to say this all day, and I will continue to say it. Musically speaking, St. John is just ahead of a lot of these people. Oh, he's yeah. ahead. I said, I said. I he's said, ahead. He and it's makes, not even close he for makes a lot of these dudes. Next level. There's only a few people in the hip hop industry that makes next level music. He is one of the few people that makes next level music. So, yeah. please listen to him, please. Hey, we'll, we'll see if they do, man. I don't think people care. I think they should care. We will see if he blows up. I believe he's starting to get a little bit of traction. I've been seeing the, the, the publicity go a little bit more, like, aggressive towards promoting him. And I've been like, what the hell? Like, he's on this. He's on that. What the hell? What? Oh, shit. So it seems like he's going to ascend. We'll see how big he gets. But again, if we're talking about music, this ain't a discussion. He should be St. John. St. John is that dude. I don't, um, I, I don't know, if that you know. I don't know if you know. I don't know yeah. how many units he sold. I don't know what his. I have no idea. The board chart. They didn't even show it. They didn't even care to show it. And th- that to me is weird. That's that's not a good they sign. Easy. They, they showed Megan Thee Stallion. I'm like, 
I don't even not know. That. For neither not of his that. albums, not this one or his past one. That's a fact. That's not that's not a good sign. And actually, you said, and I'll say this last right before I, I get up out of here. But um, you just said that he's not affiliated with any artists, and that's true. Um, what's interesting about St. John is I realize I recognize and just understand a little bit of his story and through interviews and shit like that. He is actually managed by Biggs, the dude who is one third of Rockefeller. Oh, so yeah. he is actually affiliated through a lot of dudes, but he he's not aligned with a particular artist per se, which is kind of yeah. what you're talking about. Like, yeah. Yeah. who is the cosign artistically that's being like, yo, go fuck with this person, kind of like what Rick, 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 what Rick Ross did to Meek Mill, you yeah. know? Like, who is the guy that's like, yo, check him out? Is that like that, that, about, that helps? That helps a lot. That helps a lot. Literally, think about all the people that are popular right now. Think about all the people that are popular. Like Young Thug was affiliated with a bunch of people that were co-signing Young Thug. Um, Gunna co-signed by a bunch of people. Lil Z Vert co-signed by a bunch of people. Like uh, who else? Travis Scott co-signed by a bunch of people. You know, Megan The Stallion was co-signed by a few people here and there. Like. It's it's he don't really got no cosigns, which is which is interesting. You shall see if that hurts him or not.